Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. Nandito naman po tayo sa panibagong lesson. So we are in quarter 1, week 1, lesson number 1. So, we are in sets, finite, infinite, null, and cardinality of a set. So, first we have a review. We have here toy car, ball, doll, and teddy bear. So we call them set of toys. We have also mango, orange, and guava. So we call them set of fruits. We have blouse, shirt, cup. So we call them set of clothes. So we name this toy car, ball, teddy bear, doll as set of toys. So, toys, that is the set name. Followed by the equal sign and then open close braces and then the elements or the content toy car, ball, doll, and teddy bear. So, we call them element so these are how to write set so if makakita kayo ng mga ganitong itsura this is set so we have fruits is equal to mango orange and guava we have set of clothes blouse shirt and cup name that set so we have toys is equal to toy car, ball, doll, teddy bear. Ito yung tamang pagsulat ng set. So the word toys is the set name. Name by any capital letters. And then we have equal sign. It is written after the set's name. And then we have open close braces. It is written before and after the elements. And then we have elements. It is written in small letters. This is also the content of a set. It can only be written once. So if yung toys, mayroon pa siyang maraming car. For example, we have three cars, four balls, you didn't write four car, toy car in the set, only one for the representation. And then, it is enclosed by braces and separated by commas. Denoted by the symbol, parang nakabaluktot na E. And then, we have activity number one. State if element Look at the symbol for element and not element. So, nilagyan lang ng slash yung symbol ng element. So, meaning, kapag sinabing element, yun yung kasama sa set. Kapag sinabing not element, hindi siya laman ng isang set. Okay? Ready? So, in our set A, we have even numbers between 0 and 10. So, set A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Between means sa gitna ni 0 at saka ni 10. So, hindi kasama si 10. Set B is equal to letters of alphabet between C and J. So, set B is equal to D, E, F, G, H, I. So, let us answer number 1. Is 5 is element of A. So, what will be the answer? So, that is not element. How about number 2? Is it 8? Element or not element of A? So, the answer is element. You can see in set A, we have number 8. Number 3. B, is it element or not element of set B? So 
the answer is not element. Hindi natin makikita dito sa set B C letter B. Next. Number 4. Is it E element or not element of set B? So the answer is element. You will see the letter E in the set B. Number 5. Is it 2 element or not element of A? The answer is element. You will see the number 2 in set A. It is number 2. Count me please. How many days are there in a week? So, in a week, so, we name the set W. So, set W is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, how many days are there in a week? So, we have seven. So, we write it N and then the set name W is equal to seven. This form is called cardinality of a set. It refers to the number of elements in a given set. It is denoted as n, then open close parenthesis set's name is equal to the number of elements. So that is cardinality of a set. Number two, how many numbers are there in counting numbers? So, we name that set into set C. It's equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. So, we will see. We cannot count it all. So, it is infinite. So, this is also, again, the cardinality. Next, how many elements are there in whole number? Less than 0. So, we have set N is equal to open close braces meaning that is empty next so we get the sample set w we have monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday so we call them finite set why it is limited so we list down the elements so, that is finite set. Pwede natin isulat or pwede natin sabihin lahat ng laman ng set W. While, in set C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. Meaning, tuloy-tuloy siya. That is infinite or we call them unlimited. If not all the elements can be listed. So, hindi infinite set siya kapag hindi mo ay susulat lahat yung elements. Alam mo yung elements pero sobrang uh, hindi mo na siya maisusulat dahil putuloy-tuloy siya. Yung three dots na makikita niyo dyan, ang tawag dyan ay ellipsis. Meaning that is continuous. The three dots which indicates that the series of elements are continuous. And then another one is null or empty set. It is a set containing no element. So, we are in activity number 3. Decide whether the set is finite, infinite, or null, or empty set. Okay. We will see this uh, activity in quarter 1, module 1, week 1, page 8. So, the title is Count Me In. So, in number 1, the set of counting numbers greater than 8. So, that will be 9, 10, 11, 12, and so forth. So, we call them infinite because it's continuous. We will, we, you will see the three dots or ellipses. Next, the set of whole numbers less than 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we call them finite. The set of months in a year, so from January to December, so we call them finite. And then the set of prime numbers from 1 to 30, so 
So, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. We call them finite. And the set of polygons with no sides, we have nothing. So, that is null or empty set. Next, what is finite as a review? Finite set if all of its elements of the set can be listed down, or in short, it is limited. Number two, what is infinite set? Infinite set if not all the elements can be listed down, or we call it unlimited. And number three, what is null or empty set? Null or empty set, it is a set containing no elements. So for now, okay, number four, what is cardinality of a set? Cardinality of a set, it refers to the number of elements in a given set. It is denoted as small n, open close, parentheses, set's name, and then equal to the number of elements. So, last. See you again next time. God bless and thank you.